my number one inspiration for my artwork comes from the outdoors. I love being outside with my family and my friends with the nice weather, beautiful colors all around me, and the sounds of trees and animals. My artwork always thrives when I pull inspiration from that kind of environment. But I didn't always see it that way. When I was younger, I heard the phrase, birds of a feather flock together. And I was such a young age when I heard that, that the only thing I took from it was that it was a rhyme. It wasn't until I got older and I started realizing that my art was suffering and it was my own fault. I was choosing to hang around negative people and be in environments that weren't that comfortable to me. Not that they were bad environments. They're probably very comfortable environments for other people. But for someone like me, I need to be in an open space outside. It really helps me to center my thoughts, to make me realize that there are bigger problems in the world and that every little bit of creativity can really make a difference. For so long, I would sit and hate my artwork. And for so long, I would just do art that other people were doing because it felt like that was the trend and that's all that anybody else would like. I started to go hiking a lot more, either with my family or just by myself. And I was able to be in a quiet atmosphere and really start gathering my thoughts and start thinking about what I wanted to do with my artwork. Did I want to make this a career? What was the point and what am I trying to get out of this? For so long, I couldn't answer those questions. When I slowly started changing my environment and the things that were around me and the people that were around me, I started feeling more at peace. It's almost like I allowed a snake to bite me and I had to suck the venom out in order to feel better. Once I removed myself from places and people that were negative and weren't very encouraging, or didn't even care about what I was doing, I started to feel a lot better about my artwork and myself. So I decided to keep creating. All those questions that I had about my artwork and what am I doing and where is it going were easily answered then. And some advice that I've always given to somebody else when they said that they wanted to start putting their own creativity out in the world was that everybody has an audience, but I never listened to my own advice. When I would tell them that, I meant the same phrase I heard when I was a kid. Birds of a feather flock together. People who have the same interests as you will be around you. People that enjoy your artwork will stay around. And after all these years and after all those lessons, I wouldn't change anything because I enjoy my art. I absolutely love my artwork. And I still see room for improvement because needing to improve and constantly learning is part of the job. It's part of being an artist is to constantly grow, constantly improve, and never stop learning. When I look at my artwork now, I don't see a bad piece of art. I will pick out some flaws, but I use those as lessons. Now when I step back and look at a piece of artwork, I absolutely love it. And what's more encouraging is that the people around me, that they actually enjoy it too, because they can see 
that I did my best and that I put a lot of effort into it. And it's not easy to get to this point. And I'm sure in a few years I'll get to a better point than this because I don't want to stop growing as an artist. But once I figured out that I needed to change things around me, I kept that goal in mind, no matter how hard it was. I hope that you guys get to a point where you really and truly enjoy and appreciate your own artwork. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.